Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 92 of Ocean Block. Look at the beautiful sunset. <laughs> the sky turns orange as my shield. Awesome. So, I've been busy. I've <laughs> been busy, busy, busy. Oh, look, um, I put some grass over here. Just because I wanted to, and I kept forgetting, I used a couple of the Botania pasture seeds, and then I had um, this other like little seed pod that was for grass, but it didn't spread the way that the pasture seeds do, so it's just sitting here. Um, this one spread real nice though. So, I don't know what's happening over here. It does not want to spread. Um, yeah. So, let's go have a look at what I've been doing. Um, I did get the sluice system all set up. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at it going. It's just having a blast. Oh. And I think I'm in trouble. I don't know what to, to do. Um, I think my reactors are uh, being put under more and more stress, so they're eating a lot more redstone. Um, so that's no good. I had to, I had to finally uh, take out the auto craft for blocks of redstone uh, in the reactors. I had a couple in one of these up here, and two of them, and they they were making the redstone blocks, and then the other machines, I guess, were taking them in uh, before these machines could take them in. So, um, yeah, it was just eating through all of my redstone. Now I have to, uh, I need to look, uh, see how low it's getting. Oh, it's at 61 now. It's at 63 earlier. That's a, that's a lot for a short amount of time. Man, oh man. Um. So I'm going to have to start thinking of different ways of getting power because uh, I need my redstone. <laughs> I need my redstone. Um, so yeah, it doesn't look like this one is using any more than these others. Um, so it can't produce any more power than it's generating, so it's not producing any more power than these. So, I don't know. Um, I, oh yeah. So, the redstone was the thing. It's been holding me back from from doing things. Uh, and look at this. Our system isn't even running this now. This system is obsolete with the empowered sluice. We don't even need to uh, process anything. So we should be getting ingots in. Ingots. Ingots, ingots, ingots. Um, let's see. What are we getting? Uh, from gravel. That, yeah, that shows the sluice. So if we're in the empowered sluice, uh, we get, ooh, we don't get chunks anymore, so we don't need to process the chunks. Uh, we don't need to process the arananite. We don't need to process lapis. Oh, okay. Uh, that is a lot of auto crafting that we can get rid of um, 
So yeah, um, let's see what we got here. Oh, that's not the blazing mesh. Let's look at the blazing mesh. This is just ingots for sand. What about the prosperity shards? Ooh, we don't want the blazing mesh on the sand because um, that's our only way to get prosperity shards. So, um, I didn't, I just thought of that. Uh, that is an issue. Okay, um, that, that is definitely a kink in the system. Cross man. Yeah, there's no... Ah, uh, because we can get uh, all of these other materials elsewhere. So we need to downgrade. Um, or I guess we could still keep we could just use a diamond mesh for the sand. Um, I guess we don't need to do. Okay, let's just, let's just make a mesh real quick. Oh. oh, I did it in the wrong place. I'm, I'm a mess. There we go. All right. Um, we're on the wrong floor. Let's peep off over level two and get in the sluice. And just take this guy out. Oops. There we go. Just a visual glitch? Is it not like the diamond mesh? Oh, this is a mess. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure out. I guess it would be, oh, because it, it probably just needs water in here instead. like it's draining. That's gonna take it a while, but I got an idea. We can just uh, get a bucket of water and, and export water to this one. And then the diamond mesh should work, right? <laughs> sure it will. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, I didn't even think of the prosperity shards. We still need uh, to make a lot of seeds. 
So we're gonna need those prosperity shards. How many do we have? Checked for what? Thirty-three thousand. <laughs> uh, that could be enough. Maybe. Possibly, potentially, be enough for the rest of our lives, but I don't know. Um, but like I said, all the other metals um, we can get uh, let's see, uranium. Oh, wait. Um, uranium is from. But we'll still get it, we'll just have to process it. Um, let's look at sand. We'll get, we'll get the chunks and we'll still need to process stuff. Oh, and electrotene. We need electrotene too. So we have to use that diamond mesh because we don't have enough. For sure, for sure, for sure. Um, oh, there we go. Put that there. Okay, let's look to you in there. When you run out of lava, you start putting in water. Swap out the mesh. And throw you back in there. Only the times. Um, I think my okay, it looked like we got everything uh from gravel. We got lapis. Oh, what about coal? Get coal from gravel. Oh, man. Wither skeleton farm going, but it's not going to run all the time. Only until it gets like 2,000 uh, wither skeleton skulls. I could have it. Uh, I had this idea uh, because my. Uh, my system was a little bit flawed in, uh, check it out, um, on level three. For the sawmill, like, uh, it, it's a good, it was a good theory to wait until uh, the oak logs were over 2,000 and, um, than to chop the wood. Uh, well, it was chopping everything over 2,000, and then I wound up uh, <laughs> with over 40,000 stripped oak logs. So I, I um, shut that process down um, by telling it to look, uh, make sure to only work when stripped oak logs goes under 2,000. Uh, so that's cool, but I still, if it's under 2,000, I still don't want it to use the oak if it's the oak is under 2,000. So I could set this up a little bit differently. Um, let's see, I need another detector. Do 
and then I can do it like this. Boop. Okay, so uh, basically I want this to work without a redstone signal. So if there's no redstone signal, then it's okay to work. Uh, but I want this to look for if oak is under 2,000. Uh, let's get oak. oak. Uh, emit signal uh, when under the amount. No, when over the amount. So it'll produce. No, that's wrong. I have it all in my head. Okay, so if I feed it a signal, it will shut it off. So when this goes under 2000, we want it to emit a signal and cut it off. So that's correct a signal when under the amount. So that's emitting a signal that'll shut it off. And then this one is still valid too. So um, when it goes under 2000 and we have enough wood, it should work. So um, yeah. Oh no, we need to uh, emit a signal when this one's over the amount. So it's over the amount. We don't want it to do that. Uh, we don't want it to make more. So then we might actually start getting some more oak logs. Because <laughs> uh, we got tons of stripped oak. Um, it's still... Um, the system is crafting crates and I, I told it to keep uh, 1500 small crates uh, because this just wasn't uh, working very fast because it's using up all the oak as it goes making slabs and converting them into small crates uh, I'm just not sure if How the chain of crafting works uh, for this thing, like uh, when you tell it, when you put the crafting upgrade in here, say um, the Fido Grow is a bad example because it's it's an easy combine. Um, Let's see what we got. Cake. No, oh, that's another bad example, I guess. Um, yeah, this one. Like the logic director. Because uh, I'm pretty sure it's got multiple combines. Logic. Uh, well, technically, it's got to make the crystalline. Not technically. This is auto crafting this, so that's a bad example too. Uh, no pick iron. Um, yeah. I don't know, but this is the best example I have because the basic crate, crate takes a small crate. Actually, it takes four small crates. Um, but I don't know if this crafting upgrade will craft the small crates. You see what I'm saying? If it'll go, well, I need a basic crate, so I gotta make four small crates. Or if it goes, oh, I need this basic crate, so I don't have four small crates. It does nothing. Uh, so, I don't know. it's it's kind of not uh, what do we do we still need singularities what's it at oh it's almost to another one so I guess that's a good sign 
this is taking it a long, long time. Um, very long, long time. And I got everything, um, all of the singularities in here except for these last nine. And uh, this one we could really take out because I just got to fiddle with this some more. We got the system down and this will just automatically work. It just won't be, won't be very fast. Um, yeah, we haven't even started the vacuum tube. The Tesseract is, um, I think I need to work on this because it's produced some Oh, look, it's now at 1.5K. I thought it was at like 1.2, so it's finished. It's finished its process. So I could set that one up. Um, beautiful, beautiful. There we go. Uh, just for singularity. Four. Mint a signal when under the amount. Only work with the redstone signal. Um, did you put all of them in? You did. Now it should automatically start making another 1500. Uh, Cause that's kind of a, a complicated crafting. <laughs> there it goes, it's already produced one. Yes. Okay, so Tesseract, uh, Tesseract is good. Um, what else was, oh, I don't want to do the Wyvern Energy Core because I don't have the redstone. I need more, <laughs> I need more redstone, I need more power. I uh, haven't put the capacitate on because that takes redstone as well. Uh, did I not, I probably didn't do this one yet because don't think I have enough silicon. Um, I mean, not the silicon, the uh, electro tape. Oh God, it took me a second. So it's got the electro silicon ready. Yeah, so we could totally set that one up too. Oh, we've only got 4.9 thousand. Electro team, yeah. Oh, look, we got Electro team essence. I forgot I added the Electro team essence. Uh, that will help a whole bunch. We need to set that up. Um, over to one of our crafters to automatically do it. Yeah, I guess this will work. Um, I think it's one of those that it takes eight. Yeah. Apply. And then we just export this. So that's one for one. That's pretty nice. <laughs> that has been backed up for a while, so I might need some upgrades uh, for this importer and exporter. Um, yeah. Let's get some upgrades in there. Not eat grades, upgrades. Um, all right, let's see if this helps. No. We could 
probably if I did a stack upgrade, that would be way better. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna take it a while. Let's do a stack upgrade in the exporter. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, what have I done? Um Um I guess I do need a stack upgrade. <laughs> the exporter. I mean the importer. There we go. satisfying. <laughs> it's getting done. The stuff is getting done. Nice. Oh wow, I still got gobs. Okay. Um, also, let's go, uh, let's go check on, oh hi, Judy. hi. All right, it looks like it's got the water in there now. So we can. Ha ha. There we go. So we'll still need the, um, the processing for the chunks. For the ingots, but not for the other stuff. So, like, um, um, these are unnecessary now. Uh, with the silver, uh, this does like emeralds. Uh, we'll still need the quartz, though. Because we're still doing that the, the old fashioned way. Yeah, but we won't be getting any more redstone clusters. Or, or, so I can, uh, I can dismantle these machine. What? Oh, that was the quartz. Okay. So I can move the quartz over here and, and free up a little bit more room for other stuff. Um, but. This is nickel and silver, and I think um, we could probably get rid of these and have it process those in uh, this area down here. Chamber. You have two silver dust, but that's not. This might be one of the ones that can only be processed. I guess the uh, thermal expansion is actually going to triple the silver, whereas this will only double it. So, yeah, the 
Instant smelter is the only way to triple that. Okay. So what about the nickel though? Does the nickel still need to be up there? Those two are stuck for thermal, which makes sense because those are thermal materials. Uh, but what about lead? Lead is thermal too. Oh, it can go in the dissolution chamber. Injection chamber so it can be made into quadruple. Uh, so it can be fed. Yeah, it's probably where it's going right now. The lead is getting uh, sent to that system. So I wonder why. Uh, okay, red is, I guess. What does these clusters look like? Awesome. So, <laughs> well, we saved our electrotene, but I guess I do have electrotene seeds growing. So, uh, we increased our electrotene production back uh, by. Um, getting that sluice switched over to the diamond mesh. Uh, so now not only are we getting prosperity shards, but we're getting electrotene out of that. So that's pretty cool. Occasionally it would be nice to get those things. <laughs> There's an electrotene. Awesome. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to turn in the Power Pot quest, the tier, th the Mark Three. Let's see what we get. Another incense altar. Yep. Sweet. Okay. Um, I am gonna try and uh, redo this area. Uh, and possibly upgrade these. I don't know though, I don't think uh, you get crushed netherrack or netherrack when you put this through the, uh, the basalt room. It looked like it was just netherite, uh, ancient debris. Yeah, so if I do that, that will be kind of... Can you make the, the scrap of this? Yeah, you smelt that directly into a netherrack scrap. Okay. Well, well, that's good. Uh-oh. Hi, kitty. Uh -oh. Sorry, kitty distraction. <laughs> um, so if we do that, we'd have to find a whole other way to get another bag. Uh, which I think you can do that. Stoneward generation just by feeding it water and lava, which we have tons of. Uh, Burn down. 
Oh my goodness. It's so scary. so distracted now by my cat. She, she needs love. And uh, the episode has been going on for I think 40 minutes so I think it's time to call it an episode. So uh, I will tinker around with some more trying to figure out a, a better way to get the nether rack and converting those others over to the empowered sluices. Because why not? <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.